Hi there, I'm Barbie Van Horn. This is Finding Fine Chocolates. Today I've got a question for you about nonprofits and chocolate companies that partner together and whether or not that prompts you to buy the bar. Now, if you've watched TV in the last week or so, you've probably seen Ben Affleck with these two bars because his nonprofit, the Eastern Congo Initiative, has partnered with Theo Chocolate on these bars and proceeds from the bars will go to benefit the, the, the Eastern Congo Initiative and the farmers in that area. So he's got the Congo Vanilla Nib Bar, which is a dark chocolate with vanilla and nibs. And he's also got the Congo Chili or Pilly Pilly Chili Bar, which Pilly Pilly is a, a chili in that area that we don't have here in America. And it's supposed to be a spicy bar. I haven't tasted that one yet. I did taste this one because I had to open it and read the inside of the package. And as long as it's open, I may as well taste it. Now, that's, that's one nonprofit. I love what they're doing there. I think it's very good work. Now, here's another one that Theo is doing. It's the World Bicycle Relief Bar. And this is the Sea Salt Dark Cacao, or 70% dark, dark chocolate bar. So here's another one. But my question for you is, when you see a chocolate maker partnering with a nonprofit, such as one of these, does that prompt you to buy the bar? Does that make you more likely to buy the bar because there's a nonprofit involved? Or are you just buying the bar because you, you want a sea salt dark chocolate bar or you want a spicy chocolate bar or you want a vanilla nib bar? So give me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. I'm real curious to find out. Why do we actually buy the bars? Does it, is it because of the nonprofit or is it the flavor and the texture and, and the experience that we are getting out of the bar? Thanks so much. Hope to talk to you soon. Barbie Van Horn, Finding Fine Chocolate.